I'm Robbie and this is Meredith. We're the Whittemores and we're the parents of Reed. Robbie and I were set up on a blind date from Hawaii, firefighter. Who wouldn't want to meet this guy? We got married in 2011 in San Diego. I paddled into our wedding in on my paddleboard. We are all about our kids and we'll take our kids and go to the rock climbing park, ride bikes and skateboards. We'll go surfing down at the beach and we like to be experiencing things together as a family. Bright was born in February of 2012. Um, she was our first child. We became pregnant with our second child and it was a pretty good pregnancy. We're just excited to see our family grow. I went into the doctor at 32 weeks. They did an ultrasound where all they could see then was that uh, Reef's head was measuring off the charts big. 32 weeks turned into 37 weeks and they called me and they said, can you come back? We need to do some more images. The ultrasound tech said, there's a lot of uh, blood on your baby's brain and we don't know what it is, but we're gonna have to get this baby out as soon as possible. You probably wanna call your husband. I was so scared and just, he was still in me and I'm like, please don't die. That morning we got up and um, went to the hospital and Robbie was right there with me holding my hand. They cut me open and I saw Reef's face for three seconds and they had to take him away. They're like, we need to get this baby over to Rady's. Our daughter's here in Point Loma. My wife's in one hospital and now I'm going to another hospital. What am I gonna do? It depends on who you talk to, which doctor. It went from fatal to I can take care of this. It was a complete roller coaster those first couple days. We finally learned that the Dr. Levy was gonna be our doctor. My name is Michael Levy. I'm a UCSD professor and division head of pediatric neurosurgery at Rady Children's Hospital of San Diego. My specialty is the treatment of complex vascular malformations and brain tumors in children. Dr. Levy said, I'm your doctor, this is what it is. It was determined that uh, the best intervention for him would be surgery. Within those first couple days, we found out that Dr. Levy was practicing. And we're uh, like, how is he practicing? <laughs> so here we're looking at Reef's skull, and you can see the skull overlying the aneurysms. He had specifically done this surgery with our child's head, our child's brain, dozens and dozens of times in the, the surgical theater uh, software that he used. And our initial thought was to come between this large vessel here, pull the aneurysm over, kind of roll it up and get to that. But we found out that that, based upon this view, wasn't a good way to address it. So we need to change our approach to allow us to get there without mobilizing the aneurysm at all. Uh, were we to have to mobilize the aneurysm and get intraoperative bleeding, the child wouldn't have survived. It changed our approach. With an aneurysm this large and a child this small, there are no second chances. If it bleeds, the case is over. It did give me peace of mind knowing that he could see everywhere he needed to see. You know exactly where you're going to go in. You know exactly what you're going to see. It's almost like cheating. It just makes a, a very difficult case much easier. You know, I've seen it by putting on the goggles and, and looking into his brain. So we just click on the surgical theater app, view Dr. Levy's neonatal aneurysm, and then you put it here. It's so beautiful. It was so crystal clear. Five years ago, <laughs> it wouldn't have been the case. So they, they scheduled the surgery, and I'll never forget seeing him wheeled away. I just remember being like, oh my gosh, please come back. They said it's going to be about five or six hours. We got an update halfway through the surgery. We went to, for just a little walk outside of the hospital. Our pager buzzed. So we run across. They take us into a room, and um, there's Dr. Levy. He said everything went great. and. Um, and we just gave him a big hug. I just wanted to hug him forever. We got to see him after his sweet little head was wrapped in gauze and he was asleep, but it was done. If 
I didn't have the 3D visualization and relationships that were available with the technology, it could have been disastrous. This one is mine. He's a happy little guy. He's doing everything he should. He goes to preschool. He goes out to the beach and goes surfing with me. see Reef thrive and, and be just a perfect little boy that's learning to surf and run and play and just doing normal things is kind of the reward that we get. To take Reef out and to, to share something that means so much to me as a father, there's nothing better than that. We have so much gratitude for Dr. Levy. He's alive because of you. If this software, if this uh, product wasn't available, 